So after a couple weeks of warm up, I think I have settled to some extent on a format uh, for these videos to the extent that um, rather than do them every day, because I think that's just a crap load of content, um, unless I've got something special to say, I'm going to try to do one on Monday morning and then one on Friday. Um, it'll kind of take the format of like what I'm thinking about this week and like then the extent to which uh, after having done stuff during the week, uh, what I think about that. So I just started a, a new, uh, it's basically my first B to C. It's my first uh, time actually, for lack, you know, for any better term, selling a product to ordinary people who are paying for it with their own money. And that, at this juncture, happens to be a limited run newsletter um, on the reconciling the work of Christopher Alexander, in particular, his... Um, nature of order, I mean, it's going to be completely about the nature of order, um, applied to software development. Now, I, the tack that I'm taking, so I, you know, read that book, uh, Nature of Order, and I, I consider it to be one book. It's a four volume, 2,500 page monster. It's the kind of thing that takes a year to read. And the service I'm basically providing is to try to abridge uh, it and transform, translate it rather to um, software development and what the applications uh, are to software development. And I'm going to try to take into account sort of methodologies that people are going to be familiar with. Um, but really, um, it's going to be sort of limited run, like I said, subscriber only. Um, it's going to, I'm going to be going through each of the, and this is going to require some familiarity with it, but I'm going to, you know, uh, the first one is going to be sort of an intro to what the business is all about. It's going to be, yeah, the, so there's 15 properties. Uh, 15 properties slash transformations that are supposed to be geometric in nature. And the trick is going to have to be to translate that into semiotic, topological, you know, sort of conceptual space that, 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 uh, that programming in the small and software development in the large uh, has to consider. And, you know, this kind of stems from, you know, I've been studying the work of Alexander for over a decade now. I've read pretty much all of the books, except for maybe the two really most obscure ones that you don't actually really need to because he covers the content of that in other, uh, other books. Yeah, so, and then of course I obviously know a lot about software, so how to translate that is going to be the goal of that, uh, that newsletter. So I'm going to be putting a link to that in the thing. Well, I'm going to say this week I'm going to be sending out the, the first email of that, uh, of that uh, Alexander newsletter. I'm calling it the nature of software. And other than that, other than stuff that is uh can't really talk about the uh so i'm going to finish the refactor on the swiss army knife um because uh yeah a project i was working on a few months ago i used it for that work and in the process i made it real slow and so um, I've got to go in and, and then it was just a dog's breakfast. So I, uh, started a refactor on it. Um, but have been, have not needed to needed the results of that. So I'll be finishing that and probably streaming it. We'll see. 
but uh, yeah, I, I kind of want to be able to turn that thing into an actual thing that people can use as opposed to like, I just load it up in a developer REPL right now, which is, you know, I can use it, nobody else can. So, you know, thinking, I've been thinking about how to put that into a, like a command line shell. That would be really tight. I think, I mean, I would like it for myself even because it's, uh, it's a hell of a lot easier than writing code directly into a REPL. I mean, it's kind of the same thing, but it's also kind of not. But yeah, that's what this week is looking like. Anyway, gonna finish my coffee.